For example, number one, evaluate this integral by using Simpson's rule. So the question asks you to use the Simpson's rule. And for this uh, type of question, you must use the single application of Simpson one third rule. Okay, so the formula is given by k over 3 times with f of x0 plus f of x1 sorry, 4 f of x1 plus f of x2 okay, where h value equal to C minus E over 2. So your B is 1, E is 0, so CH is 0 0.5. Okay, now before you use this formula, you need to identify what is X0, X1 and X2. So X0 is the lower limit of the interval, integral, 0, x1 so now uh, our interval is increased by 0 0.5 so x1 is 0 plus 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 and x2 is the last term so of course x2 is the upper limit of the integral so x2 is 1 after that you need to calculate the value of f0 f0.5 and f1 so just use your calculator. So F0 is 1. F0.5 is 1.0537. And F of 1 is 1.26 dt. Okay, next step. You just substitute this value here into the formula. So, our case is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 over 3, f of x0, to so f of 0, 1, plus 4, times with f of 0 0.5, 0 0.0537, plus with f 1, 1.2, And, if you the value inside the bracket is 6.4781 and the final answer is 1.0797 so this is the value of this integral by using Simpson's one third rule. Okay, next example, evaluate this integral by using Simpson's rule if n equals to 8. So now our n is 8. So we need to divide the interval into 8 segments. So for this question, you need to use the composite one third composite Simpson's one third rule. If our n is even number, first thing first, let's write down the formula. So the formula to compute the integral with n equal to eight is h over three. Multiply with f of x naught, the first term, the coefficient always 1, plus 4, the next term, the coefficient is 4, plus the next term, the coefficient is 2, so 2, f of x2, plus 4, f of x3, plus 2, f of x4, plus 4, f of x5, plus 2 f of x6 plus 4 f of x7 and plus uh, 
the last term is for x, x a. So the coefficient of the last term is always 1. So plus f of x a. Because we only have 8 segments for this question. Okay, next let's find the h value. So the h value, the formula is b minus a over n. So our n now is 8 segments. So the h is 1 minus 0 over 8. So h value is 0 0.125. Okay, next step is to identify what is your x values. So, uh, starting from x0, so x0 is equal to 0 and the x8 is the upper limit of the integral, which is 1. Our x1 value is 0 0.125 because for this question, uh, the x values increase by 0 0.125 so x2 value is 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 so x2 is 0 0.25 and x3 plus with another 0 0.125 so this is 0 0.375 okay, next is 0 0.5 then 0 0.625 then 0 0.75 and then x7 is 0 0.875 and the last one is 1 okay so next step you need to find the corresponding y values for each of the x values so it is easier if in your computation you construct a table so my table looks like this okay and then i'm going to substitute all of these values into the formula above so h uh, what is our h is 0 0.125 0 0.125 over 3 to f of x0 so 1 plus 4 1.0010 plus 2 1.0075 plus 4 1.0243 plus 2 1.0537 plus 4 1.0956 plus 2 1.475 plus 4 1.2051 and the last term the coefficient must be 1 so plus 1.2632 And the value inside the bracket is 25 by using calculator. So that's again 5.98487. And the final answer is 1.0827. I hope uh, you understand something from this video. And please do a lot of exercises. You can try a few exercises from your module. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.